Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just want to do a little quick video on a review. Um, throw in a little story time as well whilst we're here. Um, so basically, <coughs> a few years ago, I will not say a few, it was quite a while, um, went to a place called Bridgeton Lakes and I really wanted some uh, new foundation. And um, at the time, I was just kind of getting sick of just this was before Fenty Beauty, so I was just kind of like, oh, maybe just go find like a Mac or something like that. And because at Ridgeton Lakes, there's a place called um, House of Fraser, and they had like um, all your big ones like Bobby Brown, Mac, um, Urban Decay, I believe. Um, but yeah, all those makeup places in like a one little um, kind of like store place. And I saw Nars and I was like, oh yeah, let's try their place, you know, heard good things about their foundation, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the store, um, to the little section bit, and the lady, first of all, vibes were like, just poo, just literally, it was just kind of like, hello, what can I do for you kind of thing, it was kind of like, actually, I think before then, there wasn't even anyone there, so it was kind of like, you're just standing around like, just, you know, yeah, but anyway. She comes off, bit of a stank face, and um, I'm basically asking like for advice on like for my shade range. I find it really hard to get foundations that. Um, she comes up to me and literally it was kind of like a. What do you what do you mean you can't? Do you know I mean it was like that kind of vibe. So it was like okay, well. So I was opening. I think I was like testing them as well. So I was like okay, I like this one, whatever. And literally she was like, there, it's too dark." I'm like. Okay, I'm looking at my hand because I'm like, it's not though, but whatever in it. So she's like, I, th I don't think she even said it oxidizes. I think she literally struggled. She was like, no, it don't match kind of thing. And she kept saying, I don't know what one she kept saying, but she kept saying, I think you should go for this one. And I'm like, I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, nah, that's like, that's too like, like it's, it gives off like a cool tone i think at the time and it was like pinky so i'm thinking that doesn't match what's on my hand to my skin and i'm like i'm looking at it and i'm like but i'm confused because she's saying to go for this one and it doesn't look right so my friend um i don't know if, it's, if it was with two of my friends or one of them basically she was just kind of like mm, um if you don't know you should if she doesn't know your shade and whatever, then you might as well just not get it from here. And I'm thinking, oh, but I'm really good because I really wanted to get a NARS one. And I'm thinking, but she was just really rude about it, as if, like, as if I asked her, like, to her, can I call your mum kind of thing. Like, she's had this weird kind of face and vibe. And I'm like, well, I'm not spending my money on a brand if, obviously, I know the whole brand is not on based on this person, but. Technically, yes, because obviously my experience with Nas is that person who was supposed to sell me and, you know, like, oh, yeah, you know, make it nice. And no, she was proper stank face. Like, I was like, no, I'm not spending all that. And I was really good because I was like, I actually generally wanted to get something from Nas, either concealer or foundation or something. And I was like, no, no, I'm not buying money. I'm not doing that. She's telling me I shouldn't go for this shade because it'd be too dark. But then the one that she does uh, recommend for me is far too light so she clearly doesn't she, she didn't care and two she didn't know what it was on about because i think at the time even her makeup didn't look the greatest anyway so i think i actually end up going back to mac and buying i think a foundation from there but i'm just like after all these years and i just had the foul taste of nars in my mouth i was like no i'm not buying anything but then <laughs> cult beauty um sent me an email on like some discounts and nars was one of them and i was like oh, mm, 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 mm. so then i go on to youtube and i'm just i'm researching i'm just like right nars these two shades like um i think two shades were ta uh, taho taho i'm really butchering that if i'm sorry um, the ones we go T A H O E, and then the other one um, was I think called um, Syracuse, Syracuse or something like that. Um, Syracuse, whatever. 
I was like, oh, mm. and there's two ladies that I um, that actually do follow on Instagram and YouTube, and they both, I believe, depending on the times of the year, which makes sense because I also do as well, um, use those two shades or even mix them together. So I was like, oh, do you know, what? I'll just get the lighter one because then if I need to darken it, then I've got like bronzers and stuff like that. Um, so then I was like, oh, okay, 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 and I was like. Oh, I do. Do I want a new concealer as well to throw in there? And I was like, yeah, just throw in there. So then I was like, okay, I'll get the um, the long stick um, concealer and try that one because I know that they're hot. I think they're quite, they're really good as well. So I was like, oh, God sake. Hmm, I said, oh, I'll never buy from Nars. And then I'm like, oh yeah, but you know, it's not. She's nothing to do with that brand. If you know what I mean, she just was. Mm, customer technically you know she did was the face of the brand but just was rubbish in it so I thought let me let me get some products so I've got two things and I got the NARS um, natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade yes Syracuse Syracuse S Y R A C U S E. Yeah. Um, so I got this one. And then, as you can tell, I've been using it because I don't want to do a review and talk about it and I'm not, <laughs> I haven't been using it. And then I got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I got this one in the shade Ginger. So I think, so I've got these two. And this is a uh, natural light behind, so so I got these two, and I thought I, I know you're thinking what I swear she's oily, whatever. Yeah, I am oily, but these two with um, some matte foundation, um, like powder or anything like that, helps. And if you have a good um, base before you put a foundation on. That also helps oiliness. It also helps oiliness if you do good skincare. So there's a lot of things other than drinking water um, that helps with the oiliness of it. If you if you're struggling with foundation things like that. So I thought I'll try these two, um, and I have been, and they have been really good. I really like the finish that the foundation gives me. Um, the concealer for me, I feel like I'm a bit average. I'm like. I don't know what you can go wrong with concealers because under my eyes, I don't know where you can go wrong, if you know what I mean. Um, well, I know where you can go wrong if you get the wrong shade and it you know, looks dry and crusty, but because um, it's creamy, I like it and I like the shade of it. I am probably going to get the shade Teho, Taho, whatever, that, the one beginning with T because um, it's a little bit darker than this one um, and then I'll probably get a shade darker than this one as well which oh, I literally had it in my head but I, I've forgotten it but I think the one literally just a little bit darker than this one but I'm not sure if it's directly the one after this one because I think sometimes with the Nars one it looks like they can either be pink undertones, green and whatever so I want to get the one that's like a golden undertone um, so yeah, that's those two, um, and yeah, let's get into it, I suppose. <laughs> so, what I like to do is, I like to do, um, so I've prepped my face, I've done all of that, uh, I like to do eyebrows, carve them out with concealer, do a little bit of concealer under eyes, um, any kind of blemishes that I need to cover and then I put the foundation on and then after the foundation I think I put like yeah a bit of concealer down the nose um I think that's it really so I'll show you I won't show you all the posts because that's boring in it no one needs to do that so I'll just do um literally I will just show you the foundation and the concealer and what those shades look on me um, as a reference. I will list the things I use down below as well, but um, as a reference, if that helps, 
Um, I use the Fenty Beauty in the shade foundation in the shade 330, and I also have the Fenty Beauty concealer um, in the shade 310. Um, so I use that for like under eye and carving out my brows and things like that. Um, the only thing actually I was about to say I don't, that's the only concealer I do use. Um, I actually use concealers sometimes, not all the time, but it's a dark, 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 dark concealer to do contour. Um, but I use a L'Oreal Perfect Match one and, okay, in the shade 10N uh, Cocoa. So I use that um, for contouring, but not all the time though, because sometimes I just use powder for contouring. Um, so I might try a dark NARS one or Fenty Beauty, I don't know. I'm not too bothered about a good concealer with contour and stuff because I just use powder and the powder I use is, is Christine Old but it's a trusted one and I'm not ever using any other contour palette than the one that I have but anyway if you've watched other videos then you know the palette that I'm all about so let's get into it so I'm gonna do my brows first as I said uh, let's so I'll come back and then I'll show you how I carve them out and yeah so I've done my eyebrows and I'm gonna go in with the yeah the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger and I'm just gonna use a um, angled brush that you would normally do to carve out your brows um, and what I like to do is I like to put some on my hand first just get a bit of it and use what's on my hand to carve up my brows rather than going straight from the um, the bottle packaging, let's say. So I'll just get, get a bit on my hand. And then I go with my eyebrows. <laughs> After <clears throat> done my brows again, put a bit more on my hand. And then I go in with a sponge, makeup sponge, whatever you use. Um, and I go under my eyes and then I go with any blemishes as well. So straight off the bat with the concealer, it moves very nicely, you know, and it blends very nicely as well. So if that's important to you, then yeah, um, it's a good concealer to kind of like move around into the set really quickly as well. Um, and if you're buffering it in and things like that, it blends really nicely with the skin. Um, and with the foundation, what I really, really like about this one is that with Fenty Beauty, obviously, <laughs> ride or die if any of you don't care what you say but when you do put it on your skin you need to be as soon as you put it on because it does set quickly it's, it's easy enough to blend and things like that but you do have to like just put it on it's on your face and you've got to blend it quickly whereas with the, this foundation is that as long as you shake it really 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 well um it doesn't really kind of just stay on your face, you know what I mean? It just, like it melts in kind of thing, you know what I mean? So um, that's what I really like about this foundation as well. Um, I'm definitely gonna get it in the little bit darker shade because um, I do really, really like this foundation. I really like this foundation, obviously, and the Fenty Beauty one just because of the finish. It gives different finishes as well. Sometimes when being oily, it's all good and well doing all matte. But sometimes when you go out, you could be a bit too matte, if you know what I mean. And now that I'm getting better with my skincare, the oiliness is not as much as it used to be. <laughs> so um, now that I am just packing on loads of matte foundations or matte powders or mattifying things, 
um, it takes away from what I'm doing with the skincare, if you know what I mean. So um, I want a foundation that's not so like hydrating and like that. But a foundation that's just normal. And this one is just a very nice normal one. Um, I like the shade range as well from the NARS collection. So what I do with the foundation, obviously shake it really, really well because it is one of them that if you don't, you'll know <laughs> you're like oh god um so yeah you gotta shake it really well um and it's um just like a pump i like the packaging as well really nice so yeah i put some on my hands i don't really like to put um foundation on like a brush or a sponge and then put it on my face i put it on my hand i don't know why <laughs> I, it's always something that i've always done and i think i'll probably most likely continue to do that so yeah we can put some on my hand I think I put, uh, that's two pumps worth, and I think I normally have three, but yeah, so I'll go in with two pumps, and I kind of spread it evenly across my face, and then I'll just kind of see, or go from there, if you know what I mean. So I'll do that, and then I'll come back. Actually, I might do all of that, and then I'll... It might be all finished face because that is literally just using those two products anyway and reviewing them for you guys. So, yeah, I'll be back. So, this is a finished look. Yes. It, it probably looks similar to Fenty Beauty or whatever, but I must say, it is, yeah, it's a little bit lighter. So, it, it's much more of a shade for me that I like better when it's like in the winter time because I do obviously get lighter. Um, I have noticed that my face hasn't got as dark since I've been using SPF anyway so now that I go in the sun or my face is ex exposed to the sun let's say I've always got SPF on so my face has always been a little bit lighter now since I've been doing that but yes I really like this shade for for this kind of time it probably does come up quite pale on camera but in person it does look much more of like my kind of tone if you know what I mean whereas with the Fenty P2 it's a little bit more yellowy kind of golden tone so it's perfect for summertime but in the winter time it I can finesse it to look good if you know what I mean whereas with this foundation I can literally just put it on and not do too much with my face which I kind of like as well you know so um if you kind of like me and just as well <laughs> Now that we are in lockdown, well, tomorrow the UK will be approaching lovely lockdown again. Um, you're only going to see this part of your face, um, especially in my work. Obviously, I don't wear foundation or that stuff for work anyway, but this is literally what you are seeing anyway. So, um, but yeah, um, really like this foundation. If you are thinking of getting it um, and you are kind of like, well lockdown in it like what else i really do recommend getting this foundation if i'm also not like a makeup holder as well so i only use the products that i like um so i only really have i only have now i have three foundations so i've got a maybelline fit me one that i like to travel with fenty beauty one and now this one which is not a lot of foundations really when you think of people who love makeup and stuff that you would have loads but no um Concealers, yeah, I've got a Fenty Beauty one, I've got, um, I've stopped using the Makeup Revolution one just because it was very pinky tone, um, but yeah, and then now I've got a NARS one, which I really do like as well, so that's also nice, um, and it is much lighter than the Fenty Beauty one, um, so when I want to brighten under my eyes, um, it's nice to do that and, and it not look like bleh and flashback as well. I've tried it flashback and it's, there's no flashback. So this is the Fenty Beauty shade. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little bit, let me hold on this. Compared to the NARS, I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit um, like more like golden in. This one's a little bit lighter, but it's good for, yeah, to brighten up. So this to actually conceal, yes, and this to, yeah, conceal and brighten up, perfect. So I've kind of got a nice package when I do my makeup now, which I really enjoy. Um, I've also got my Fenty Beauty powders, um, 
so it, it also helps as well so when I'm thinking oh it's a little bit light in some areas I just pop this powder on the honey one Fenty Beauty honey um, in the areas I think it's a bit too light um, and where I do think yeah I want to brighten it up like my under eyes let me just find it I really enjoy the revolution banana powder um so yeah i'm thinking that the next powder i do want to try is the h b cosmetic powders um so i think i will try that i think i might try the banana shade because i think there's only four shades also five can't remember but i think i'll get the shade in banana um, and try that powder for the next time but other than that yeah that is the my review on the nars foundation for some reason i thought it was called illuminous but i don't think it is it's got nat uh, natural radiant longwear foundation so it's that one but yes that is the end of my video um please leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye